Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be breaking down the new trailer for Episode 1. It's an extended trailer, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so just before we get into this, last night there was an event. It was for charity, and I highly recommend you seek out the clips, because it's great, and... You know, it's for charity, so I think you guys should give it a watch. Melissa was there, Chris was there, Grant was there, so many people. It was such a lot of fun to have a look at after. Obviously, I wasn't there, but some of you guys were actually there, and I really envy you. So yeah, go search that out, go find it out, and let's get into today's video. So, okay, this new trailer has just come out, and... We were eagerly awaiting it in the chat because they pre-scheduled it for a very long time. And so basically, the first shot of the trailer is outside. It's Supergirl. You get your first good look at her with her new suit. She's got that weird emblem. I still don't know what it means. But also, you have Melissa in the bangs. She's got the bangs as her new haircut. And this is obviously a scene of, you know, right after a fight with Midnight, who is the villain of the episode. It's definitely a sort of reverse shot, like, you know, shot reverse shot, and this is her reaction. So she's been blown back by Midnight's powers or something like that. Melissa looks really cool, really digging the hairstyle, as I said before. And if we move on to the next shot, the next shot is Lena talking about how she's not a villain and how she just wants to make Supergirl feel how she felt, which is very villainous in my opinion. I think Lena's not going to go full villain. But, you know, her intentions from this trailer and the past trailer seem very sort of edging on villainous. Like, yeah, she's probably not going to go so far as to, like, kill her or something. She punches her in the last trailer. She's talking about how she's, you know, thinking that, oh, maybe Supergirl thinks I'm a villain now because, you know, I'm doing all of this. But I think she's going to find a fine line to not become a villain, but to have actions that are reminiscent of a villain. And so then the next shot is the cracked shot, you know, the CGI shot, which is really weird because she didn't even slam it down that hard of Kara and Lena on her desk. You can very much see that it's CGI, but whatever. That's the shot from the end of last season towards the end. And then we move on to the next shot, which is Lena and she's about to fight. And, you know, I don't know what specifically is happening here, Maybe this is her new technology that she has developed because we saw this shot in the other trailer. It looks like she's sort of phased out. She's like maybe got something in her eyes. Maybe it's to do with the technology she's trying to build this season or it could be completely different. Maybe she's been taken over by Midnight and, you know, her racial Supergirl, maybe Midnight somehow controls it, something like that. So that's very interesting to think about. And so then we move on past that and we get a shot of Jean. And Jean is just sort of staring along here and we get this manifestation of Midnight in this and it looks really cool. I really do like her powers and, you know, the way that she sort of comes alive. It seems like she can control the light somehow because everything's sort of flickering and she's controlling it in the next shot. And then we get this shot of Supergirl on the ground and it's from an angle that suggests that, yeah, Midnight can fly and Midnight's you know, flying down from this angle that the camera's at, and she's about to attack Supergirl. She's definitely attacked her by now because she's just getting up. And so, yeah, really great shot. Then we move on to another shot, and it's of Alex making a face of, you know, fear. Like, so she is looking upon Midnight in this shot, and we get the reverse of this behind Kara. You see Kara's cape right here. I do believe this is sort of midway through the episode. I don't think this is like the final showdown. But Jean's here as well, and Midnight's talking, and Jean, you know, prior in the trailer, talked about how, you know, no one knows where she's from, no one, you know, can control her powers, she is a mystery to them, and then we move on to the next shot, one of my favourite shots of the trailer, because you really get to see, you know, the whole new Supergirl look, because it is a new look, which is her hair, the suit is obviously still the same, but it's sort of edging towards that new look which we'll talk about in a minute because we get to find out how the suit comes to fruition in this episode. But yeah, you see Jean behind, you see Brainy behind, they're in some sort of warehouse. And then we move on and there's just various shot reverse shots. We get a shot of Jean and then Brainy and then following that we get one of Midnight 
this is her saying I am midnight or something like that and then we get the team up super friends shot and Kara's like and I am super girl and I was like hell yes this is the best I love that and this shot's just a nice shot. I really like the oranges in the background. Alex is in this as well. So yeah, Alex is going to be taking them on. And I love how confrontational she is. And then it cuts in the next shot. It's a close-up. And she's, you know, I'm not afraid of you, essentially. And she's about to fight Midnight. And I'm very excited. This gets me so hyped. So the reason why I don't think this is, you know, towards the end of the episode is because she's still got her old Supergirl suit on. And I believe the final showdown is actually going to be in that auditorium or that theatre that we've been seeing in those behind the scenes photos. So then we get the same shot as we got in the past trailer with Midnight using her powers and the sort of canary cry that you hear. It looks really awesome. It sort of swells round. It's all blue. Yeah. So let's move on to the next shot. And so the next shot is of a school bus and it's out of control. It's smashing through all these barriers. You get multiple different versions of it. And it's about to hit these school kids and the driver is unable to stop it. And then Supergirl just magically materialized. Like, I think that's an error in the CGI. She literally doesn't, like, fly in. She just pops up. Definitely, I think they're fixing the CGI on that. Because, you know, they've still got a little while, like, a few weeks before Supergirl comes back. But, yeah, it's kind of weird how there's, like, no motion blur of her coming there. She just sort of pops up and stops it. And you get all the sparkles on the ground and stuff like that. But anyway, so she saves these kids very much so you can tell it's CGI. And then we get to this shot from the perspective of the van. Supergirl, still in her old costume, so very kind of early on in the episode, but she's got a new hairstyle. I don't know how they're going to, like, say, oh, she's got a new hairstyle. I think she might have been like, oh, I just went to hairdressers and wanted to change my hair. I think that will be the answer. And she smiles at the driver. I really like this shot. It's very nice and sort of very in the vein of who Supergirl is. And then we cut to a very interesting shot. And this shot is in fact of the monitor. And this was at the end of last season. And so it's a continuation. And it's sort of just to remind you who's going to be the sort of main villain of the first part of the season. Which is Jean's brother. And we know he's going to be heavily involved in some of the early episodes. So, yeah, be on the lookout for him. Also, we get this new shot of Jean inside his office. He's putting his hands up. I think his brother is contacting him somehow, even though there's a shadow. Maybe it could be, like, telepathically. I think he's trying to stop him somehow. I'm not sure. So, some sort of intruder in his mind or, you know, actually in his office. Then we cut to the shot from last season where we got the reveal that Jean's brother is here for him. And so... The trailer says new threats and it cuts to Lena, so they're obviously hinting oh, Lena's a threat this season. And also, obviously, they mean Midnight and Jean's brother. And so then we go to the auditorium, we see Midnight. This is the final showdown. You can see Supergirl and everyone sort of in the rows, in the columns, just in front of her. And she's using her powers. Her powers look really cool. Everything's sort of projectiling, like, off of her. Like, it's sort of like a canary cry, but, like, coming out of her hands and... Then we get the same shot as the last trailer with her powers sort of hitting Supergirl and she's trying to stop it. And then we got to the next shot and everyone is blasted back by Midnight's powers and everything sort of sparks. And then we move on to the most interesting part of the trailer and the most interesting part of the trailer is this. We see this in here. This is either after or before, but... This is with Brainy and Kara, and they talk about how, you know, her cape has got shreds in it, and, you know, maybe she needs an upgrade right now. And so, then we move on, we get this, like, reverse shot, and it seems like, yeah, it's probably in the aftermath. And it's a new look at Supergirl, she's getting a new costume. I love the sort of slow motion of Kara taking off her glasses, and Brainy explains, your suit is going to automatically just sort of go around you. And I'm not so sure about how they're explaining this because it seems way too similar to the Supergirl suit that we saw last season, which was the Transformers sort of Power Rangers one, which, yeah, it wasn't very good, like, especially with the helmet. And I didn't really like how it sort of materialized around her. But I have to say, you guys know, I love the suit. I think the suit's amazing. But I'm not so sure about, like, it actually just going around her. I think it would be better if she just put it on, to be honest. 
but it's a pretty cool shot. You see the CG suit sort of materialize around her. It's not perfect because it is a CG suit. And then when you cut back to the main one, Melissa is smiling as Kara as Supergirl because she gets to see how it comes on and she's in the real suit by then. So it's sort of a transition. There will be a cut where she'll get into the real suit and it will materialize in a CGI way and then we get the final shot of her as Supergirl and she's in that auditorium and you see the full new look and she's talking and she is very much so excited by this. Then we cut into the last frame which is her smiling pants she says i love it all right so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos as we try and hit 100,000 subscribers we are 800 subscribers off we're so freaking close please be sure to share it around so we get there thank you guys for the support i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see.